No Nigerian should welcome another war to keep this country together. Biafra is here. <laughs> Biafra is here. <laughs> Hey, where are the doubting Thomases? Kidding, you people will watch this video. That's on Kunjiri one of the video. They have now started withdrawing their statement. And I love what this senator said. He said, Nigerians cannot go into another world to force Igbos to be in Nigeria. Yes, that truly he wished that Igbos will stay in Nigeria, but they can no longer risk another war on Nigerian soil to keep nigeria as one nigeria has a lot of problem and this is when people start saying the truth i don't know what is there we don't want to be together we have been pretending that we are one people but we are not one let us go already here and i'm going to give you a fries already here because we cannot in any way continue to deceive ourselves as long as victory matters we are going home yes everybody you have to have sense do you know why i give you and i'll come back and continue Millions of Igbo cannot be heard so that Nigerians can understand the degree to which secession by the Igbo represents their popular choice. Nigeria has had to fight two terrible wars to preserve a terrible war to preserve the country. The North has paid its dues in that war and indeed in many ways throughout the history of our country. Under our current circumstances, no Nigerian should welcome another war to keep this country together. The North in particular has more than enough challenges and we recognize that violent secession by any part of Nigeria will compound the problems of all Nigerians under which we live. The forum has arrived at the difficult conclusion that if support for secession among the Igbo is as widespread as it is being made to look, and Igbo leadership appears to be in support of it, then the country should be advised not to stand in its way. It will not be in the interest, it will not be the best choice for the Igbo or Nigerians to leave a country we have all toiled to build and a country we all have responsibility to fix but it will not help a country already burdened with failures on its knees to fight another war to keep the evil in Nigeria. Oye sino adila anife, oku sirina anife. Makanoga agafe gombo, oku sine emi, fane emi. Let's get ourselves fact. This man has spoken well. Mwala zifenge ku. But they must realize that we don't want to stay again. We don't want to stay again. How long are we going to keep doing this? Pain, suffering, and you want us to remain as one? It's not possible. Other is possible now. Now, other is possible. So, the Igbo leaders we are talking about, we are talking about those in IPUB and those in autopilot, not Ohanes and Doshio. Not Ohanes and Doshio, who can on the Igbo leaders? Because left for it, 99% of Biafrans have agreed that they no longer want to be in Nigeria. Even those people that hold, owns big businesses across Nigeria. So if you think you can pin us down by, by our businesses, there is no time. We're already going. So, Kachibo, Kachifo. Two powerful military checkpoints has been positioned. In the east and the north of Biafra, as more potential victory must be recorded. Listen attentively. You see, the worst thing that this senator did was to tell Biafrans that he is ready to go for war with Biafrans. 
people that have invested their evil and think that this world belongs to them. The northern and the eastern part of Biafran have been secured, the two borders. Hmm. See this Biafran commander, don't joke with him. These people are not unknown government or no government are causing nuisance in Biafran land. We are talking about the real people that are defending Biafran land. They must understand that that time when each and every one of them tried playing pranks on us has passed. Those days when they tried to put us aside has passed. And that is why we must continue to elevate ourselves in that big energy. We must, with every resistance, stand strong and defend this territory. Because when you crazy, you can for a job. When you crazy, you can marry for a job. Enough is enough. Enough of their lies, enough of their hatred, enough of their push through and what is called. But we must undoubtedly understand the biggest energy where this whole situation is. And by so doing, we must communicate to that point where we belong. And by so doing, let's put ourselves in the midst of what we should be put. I don't understand the kind of negative energy that we get. Where too much expectation should be done. And what should be thrown aboard must be considered. By so doing, we have come to realize the impact that has been made. Now, those senators will go back to the north and tell them that Biafrans will not give up their land. Simple. Biafrans will not give up their land for some Ifuli Fulanis. I'm already left and right. Nanofia, Bukachua, Efiatoro. We can't not give South East their wish. You think we are begging you? The reason why the Biafrans are not yet in the forefront is because they, are, they, they don't want the innocent ones to be affected. From your own side. Why have they been lavaging the North? They can't even come to the South East. Anytime they come as so far as all those terrorists. Because nature, it is natural that an evil man is stronger than any being in this world. We are the first people in this world. So Eastern border have been secured, Northern border have been secured. Let's see how they will go. No, no going in, no coming out. That's the worst mistake you ever made was to just threaten Biafrance. And now you will see the energy.